Episode number seven of Agatha All Along was really a good episode. It was another good episode, and especially the writing and editing of this episode really deserves credit because we all know what happened with Lilia's character and how she was actually, you can say, doing back and forth with time, and it was shown very very nicely. We'll elaborate on that later. But we also got a confirmation on the character of Rio that who Rio is. Rio is death, or we can also call her Lady Death. And we also know for a fact that that this thing of Rio being death was actually spoiled or was actually leaked a while back. And apart from that, we also do know that her character is going to appear in some future Marvel projects as well. And lastly, we also know that this series Agatha all along will have a wider impact on the wider MCU. That means it will have a bigger impact on the wider MCU. But overall, it was a very good episode once again, and it was the second last episode. in a way because next week it is going to be the finale of agatha all along and the final two episodes will be released next week together but before jumping into the finale we first need to talk about what we got to see in this episode so this episode was all about lilia and we have to talk about lilia and her powers and her acting as well the acting was pretty damn good too but what about her powers her powers are actually divination we all know that her powers are all about you know predicting the future reading tarot cards and all those divination stuff we all know that but her main power we can't even call it her power but one of her character traits is to jump between time to jump back and forth in time and that also not willingly and it kind of reminded me and i'm sure it might have reminded you too of loki of what loki was able to achieve because of the time slipping we saw that at the end of uh, loki season 2 and how he was able to control his time slipping and here this was kind of also time slipping but not actually time slipping but it did remind me of that coming back to lilia lilia said time is an illusion and her life is kind of out of order because she can live in flashes she gets these different flashes but it's not quite clear that is she living those flashes or are those just flashes in front of her eyes it's kind of vague but it's still all right but there was one interesting thing that she said she said she used to get these flashes when she was young and then it kind of stopped and now she's again having those flashes and then she understands that the end is near not the end of the road but the end of her life because her death is coming for her and who is death death is rio vidal's character and frankly i almost forgot that rio vidal's character is actually in this show because she was barely in in any of the episodes and even when she was in she was not having that big impactful role but now the final two episodes will be entirely centered around her but anyways lilia died a heroic death at the end but anyways we see lilia and jen's character getting you know sw- uh, sucked into that muddy thing and they gets fallen into this subway but then lilia gets those flashes and that is where the editing of the show the editing of this episode in particular was really good because in all these flashes and all these time jumpy things it was very seamlessly shown and it was very nicely shown that's why i want to credit the editing of this episode but if we shift our focus to the trial it was a divination trial it was a trial about reading tarot cards and first teen tried he failed then agatha tried she failed again of course then lilia tried but she failed too because she was reading the future of teen she thought teen is the centerpiece here and she thought teen is the traveler but she soon realized that she herself is the traveler because she travels through time she travels through these flashes of time and time is an illusion again so she was the perfect fit for the traveler and as soon as and as soon as she read for herself everything was good but she realized she has to sacrifice herself and she does sacrifice herself at the end and she kind of kills all the coven we can say that but now the only main antagonist of the show possibly is rio because she is the one who is alive and she is death she is coming for everyone but here is a question did lilia really die because according to the rule of you know watching flames you if you don't see a body don't consider them dead and we do and we didn't see the body of lilia at the end of this episode but the final shot of the episode was quite interesting because we see that lilia is again back into that little kid that little girl and she runs off to her teacher and the teacher asks her are you ready she says yes or something like that but it does feel like she like lilia has gone back in time and now she is going to relive her life once again it does seem like that i don't know if that was implied do tell me in the comments what do you think about this but yeah 
I think Lilia's role in this show at least is done. And I think Jen will play a very crucial part in the upcoming two episodes here because she was the future ahead according to the cards. The path ahead. High priestess. Therefore, she will be quite important. And of course, the last thing that Lilia said to Agatha will also mean a lot because she said, When she calls you a coward, hit the deck. What? And I did realize in the writing of this show, especially the dialogues, they were quite cle 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 cleverly written as well because of such dialogues. Hey, you want straight answers? Ask a straight lady. Who's the querent? I, you mean the subject? Me, I, I guess I'm the querent. <laughs> Overall, I felt this was another solid episode. The length of the episode was quite short, again only 30 to 35 minutes, but this time this episode's pacing was on the better side because this one was very slowly paced. It felt longer, it felt, I, I in fact felt invested in the story, invested in the character of Lilia because it was interesting to watch. <laughs> what am I saying? But overall, it was another good episode. Do tell me in the comments what do you think about this episode? And yeah, ready for the finale? I'm sure you are. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching.